secondo dia. It's uh, 5 1 o'clock PM right now here in Lima. And look at look what the Dakar generates. Look at all the traffic. Look at all the traffic here. I mean, on the, on the street right now. And, but most importantly, look at the people waiting to see the drivers. Look at that. Look at that. Even, even the ramp you are going to descend to the to the coast coast, the wind coast. Look at that. It's full. Look at that. Look at the helicopter. <laughs> Jesus, man. Look at this. It's a full on party. It's a full on party. My bandana I bought yesterday and you guys saw. Also, I have another memorabilia from the last time I visited that car that which was 2013. My flag from the wait, my flag from the 2013 Dakar that was held in Argentina and Chile as well. Peru was the starting point and Chile was the finishing point. Not like right now which is both starting and finishing point of course Peru. That's the, that's the year I couldn't do work, but now here on YouTube, YouTube is my work, so this, this place is also my work too. <laughs> Look at this lineup. It's big, and I mean it's big. From, from over there to over there. Look at that. All the people that want to see the cars coming out. Hopefully the, the mini session um, didn't start it yet. Francisco Chaleco López, Alvaro León. And even further than that, 
all the way, all the way, all the way over there.
best way to the meetings. All right, buddy, you guys are seeing there. The reason I was waiting so long, the meetings. Finally, the meetings are on the podium. Well, at least one of the meetings, the 300 star. The last winner champion. That's the mini. Bravo! And on, on the background, there's, a, there's another Dakar legend, Nasser Latija, in the official, and I mean really official Toyota Overdrive Toyota Gazoo racing car. But here's the main guy, Nasser Latija. Okay, that's another of the minis, but this one is more important. Wow. This mini is passing through right now. That, that mini is more important in the background because that's the best winner in the history of Dakar. The most winning man in the history of Dakar, Sebastian Stefan Pastor Hansel. In the, in the, in the 300 and 4 mini. Go, Stefan! That over there, believe it or not, it's Sebastian Loeb, the most winning driver in the history of WRC and Daniel Elena, his co-partner too, in his Porsche 3008 DKR. The same one I think he won, no, he didn't want. Okay, big flag, Sebastian Loeb! Woo! Hey, that's Lenny Roma! And on the background, finding the last of the minis. On the last of the minis, Cyril the Press. That's Cyril the Press in the third and last mini. Woo! Go, Cyril! Go, Cyril! Woo! Oh man, I can't, I can't ever say what a hell of a man this was. Oh man, I can't wait to see the whole race itself. Uh, while I'm passing right now, I'm gonna focus over there because you guys saw over there that's the Ford Sport Squid crew, crew from Ford Sports Latin America. They're gonna do a 4 0 coverage of Dakar here at Latin America. So, we too for them. If you live here in Latin America, you stay here too. And if you're safe here too, stay, fo stay focused for Channel 4, the national Channel 4. But, We'll focus to the four sports crew team back there. So with this, I'm saying goodbye. So far, I don't know if I'm gonna. Uh, I will. I will still think if I will cover the last, the finish line because it's gonna be right over here too. It's gonna be a full on circuit. Remember, this is gonna be the first ever Dakar that is gonna be held in just one country, and that country is here, Peru. So it's a huge crowd for myself and for all the Peruvians out there. So again, I would just go home, take some rest, eat something, and I mean, and the race is gonna, and this race is gonna be a hell of a race. I can, I can assure you that. So with this, I say goodbye. Peace.